Hopefully you guys don't mind joining me for two embroidery jobs. I have two I have two jobs for embroidery rather. One is duffel bags and one is chef coats. And I'm not feeling my best today, but I gotta get these done. So I figure why not um, embroider with you guys. And if you have any questions or whatever, I'm in here. And we're going to try to get this done. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And let's get this going so that I can see it. Yeah, because trust them to get that right. Um, Okay. Let's get this number right here. Hello, everybody. How are you? There we go. All right. Hopefully this will work. Something is wrong with my sound. I know. I know. Um, so let's go here. Oh, that's not what it was. All right, did that make a difference or does it still sound crazy? Because it's plugged up. You all know my microphone battery ain't faithful. I really need to email the company and let them know that. Um, but let me know if that sound is better, Shawnee D. If it's not, then we may have to deal with the buzzing for a little bit because it's worse. Okay, then let's put that back. And y'all are gonna have the buzzing, I'm sorry. Unless, um, so how is that one, John? And um, you guys, buzzing. I know the buzzing is gonna come back because it's plugged up, unfortunately, y'all. Um, hey, Rugy, I know it's Rugy now. <laughs> I know it's Rugy now. Oh my gosh, um, let's see, it's worse, okay buzzing yeah i know but feedback now i shouldn't be getting feedback did that make a difference either y'all i just i don't know i know now the buzzing should have stopped but my battery is gonna die here in a little bit it was better before aches it was better before um uh, but the buzzing should be okay by now because I um, unplugged it. Hey, so crafty. Hey, Miss Pressure. I appreciate y'all helping me with this, though. Michi. Hey, crafty Leo. Hey, Debbie. Hey, beautiful soul. It's better. Yeah, the battery battery is going to die. I don't. I need to um, email them and let them know that this battery just does not last. Um, on this thingy from Amazon. I like it. I love it when it works. It works beautifully, but it, it just dies quickly. Okay, thank you, Liberty. I appreciate that a whole heck of a lot, y'all. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to embroider on duffel bags. So I'm not going to be looking at the chat too terribly much because I have a lot of bags that need to be, well, not a lot of bags. It's like seven bags that need to be embroidered and chef jackets. Um, oh, my TV is perfect on my cell phone is buzzing. Your TV may have like some kind of noise suppression or something in it, which if you do, that's pretty cool. And if you guys don't mind hitting the like button for me, I would really appreciate it. Meanwhile, we will go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna switch you over to the Cricut cam, which at this point is going to be the ironing board cam. So the ironing board cam, you got to be kidding. I am. I have um, this this leopard print do flashy on to help me stay warm because without it, I would definitely freeze. And if you guys, um, if my sound does cut out because like it's facing out this way, so I'm not going to be able to see it. Um, put some stop signs in the chat and hopefully I'll get to it sooner rather than later. 
but I wanted to I think I've done duffel bags with you guys before I'm not sure but I kind of figure it doesn't hurt to go back over some of the same old same old stuff but here are duffel bags that were um, needing to be done and these are embroidered in two different places so one of the things that i tend to and again i can't see the chat so keep that in mind uh, but one of the things about these bags is not only is it embroidered on on no actually this one is only embroidered one place i'm sorry i forgot wrong bag okay so one place embroidery yay the old bags had embroidery on top and bottom but what does mess me up sometimes with these bags is only one side can be embroidered okay because if i let me see if i can get it where you can see it if i embroider this side these pockets will get stitched stitched shut and i do have a bag over there on the floor that got stitched shut because i was rushing embroidering the bags and wasn't paying attention that was a couple of months ago a few months ago rather and so now i have to just make sure i stop pay attention to what the heck i'm doing and then um make sure i'm on the right side all right so i use my ironing board as my hooping station for these bags it just fits perfectly it's right here i don't have any drama or any mess to deal with and then i get my trusty clear ruler that i use for everything and then i have this uh kind of like wax multicolor crayon thing or whatever it does several different colors in the tip so as long as the trigger is all the way to the top i can turn it to whatever color i want kind of like a old school lead pencil or the old school uh four in one ink pen well that's pretty much what this is based off of so i'm gonna go with where is it i think it was right here there's a dark color yeah that's it i use this a lot yeah because you see how far down it is i use this for those bags it's dark enough where the color shows for me but if i forget to rub it off why well, don't rub it all off it shouldn't be seen by the customer usually all right so first thing i do is i find the middle this is roughly 10 inches so i like to go actually a little bit over half so i do four and three quarters and then once i find the four and three quarters then i draw my line for the center and then to find the center left to right i go ahead and mark it at this point which is seven inches so that'll put us at three and a half like so and that's it that's all i have to do the cool thing about these bags is i don't have to um i don't have to use stabilizer the bag itself is just a little, 30 i don't use stabilizer for these so i just slide the hoop back there and then i try to make sure i get it centered as possible and that's kind of like trial and error type situation and i just keep moving it until i get it right and usually by the time i get to my fourth or fifth bag i'm dead on and i don't have to struggle as much it's like i gotta get a rhythm in other words um let's come down some there we go all righty that close enough close enough yes no it's hard to see from an, i'm at an angle okay we're gonna pull it up a little bit more because we want this to be pretty much centered and that's that so this is ready to go on the embroidery machine which you guys i do have yes i am hey uni uh which i do have fortunately 
my machine cam up and I have it on both machines because over here we're going to do um, the bags and over here we're going to do the chef jackets all right so I need to take this out because I'm not going to be doing that logo I need to pull this off because I forgot I have to put the names um, load the bags onto the machine so that we can stitch this out but it's ready to go all right, so we're gonna grab this and we're going to make sure that it's squished together because I felt it move. And then I'm going to slide this onto the embroidery machine. Now this particular bag has, um, I want to call them sequins because technically that's what this is. They're just small sequins. Um, so it does have a texture to it. The other problem with this bag is um, it's bulky a little bit. So sometimes what I'll do, let me make sure I'm still, okay. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a clip, my Dollar Tree clip, and I'll clip it down here to kind of like keep the bag squished um sometimes that works out well sometimes it backfires i need the bigger one i got a bigger one somewhere i'm gonna have to find it and hopefully i'll find it and get this thing squished but um i've used rubber bands i've used some of anything to keep this bag squished so that it doesn't bind on the sides and cause it to lose registration um because your bulky items will get this thing hemmed up oh there's my clip yes here's my bigger clip and so we're going to squish this together like so and that'll help somewhat keep this you know where it won't get bound all right so that's the bag over there and now I need to put the um, design on to the flash drive right here, which I didn't, um, do I have a space to put this somewhere? I should have a space. Yeah, I think it's right here. So that I can put these files on the drive. Yas, okay. So, let me i actually can show you that process too hey tony foxworth hey miss pressure have you ever had to do multi hooping i'm stuck on a design that's bigger than my hoop 11 by 11 design for a 6 by 10 hoop on a single needle i have done multi hooping um i was going to do a multi hooping video um but because i had a really big design it was a um shirt back design on a I think it was like a 2x or a 3x shirt and I did not because I didn't want to be the design I was doing it for I was filling in for a friend um she doesn't multi-hoop either she doesn't like to multi-hoop so I do her multi-hooping projects for her for this particular group of people and I didn't want to be offensive to anybody because of their design that goes on the back of their thing um so to be on the safe side i just didn't do the video but some kind of way i'm gonna have to figure out how to change it or block out the wording on it and the graphics so that you guys can see a multi-hooping um and actually it'd probably be better for me to do it on a um like the five by seven machine because that one our largest hoop that fits on that machine is what I had to use to multi hoop. Even the largest hoop over there was still not big enough for this particular design. So I had to multi hoop that one. Um, so yes, at some point we'll do a video on that. I have to put it together though mentally first and then we'll do one. So um, what am I doing? I was going to share my screen with you all and do... How do I do this? I got to remember every time I do this particular thing, I have to remember what I did. All right. Um, 
let me pull one up and so a pro hey natalie hatchet thank you natalie for being a youtube hoop group member i don't recall um saying that to you too often on sundays uh let's see video tutorial there we go all right so this is so what pro and i'm going to open one of these designs that i've done for them in the past um it's not registering how i sometimes i forget how i do stuff which is why i'm seriously considering not doing too many more orders for too many more people um because i tend to forget what i've done but if i was proactive i would use my pretty perfect planner and have all of this written down all the steps and everything that i go through to do this so that i don't have to think again you know but who who really takes the time to do that when you're just all over the map so if i were more organized i would do that um so i need to go to the let's go desktop actually is it desktop quick access no, not desktop Let's go to our custom. Let's go to our Wilcom. Let's go to our DRC. Yes, this is the new one. Uh, no. Let's go to Jeff's names. New bags. There we go. All right. So that's how I do this. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is go into Wilcom as well and then put the kids names um over the design I just gotta find one hold on mm, one that I've already done and then I just match it so oh not one in here virtual administrative I need all kind of stuff to have. It's just it's more than a virtual administrator at this point. Um Okay, so it may be on my D drive. Is that where I was? I think that's where I was already. Is it the D drive? Yeah. So let me go to my. No, that's D. That's D. Desktop. All right, so I'm gonna have to let me look on the Duplachi. I'm sorry, y'all. My brain is all over. I don't. I'm again. I don't feel well today. Unfortunately, I have. Um. I I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the soda that I was drinking that made me feel kind of like tummy ache type situation. Or okay, here we go. But this isn't one that's already done. So. Oh, sorry. Y'all can't see that. Um. So this is the design right here. But I need to put their name over the top of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to that end, what is this? Oh, uh, this is six by eight. So I need it to definitely be smaller than six. So let's open up Wilcom Hatch. Um, make sure my. And now my thing is turning red, y'all. My um microphone. 
so it's probably going to die soon and then the buzzing will be back even though no my camera is all the way over there so I can't use that microphone um, Okay, so I use two different um, programs. I use So What Pro, and usually I use Wilcom Hatch. Okay, Wilcom Hatch has a lot more features. I get a lot more control over doing digitizing with Wilcom Hatch than I do with So Art. Now I'm using So What Pro, that's not the same as So Art. So Art is a digitizing um, software program. Karina, right here, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. Come on, there we go. I don't know why that took so long. Sorry y'all, buzzing is gonna be back. Buzzing is going to be back. I apologize. If it's let me see if I can turn it down. Did that help with the buzzing any? Yeah, I knew I lost sound. I knew I was about to lose it anyway. good okay hopefully that helped with the buzzing and I know my volume went down too but I mean y'all I can't win for losing at this point so okay so what I'm going to do is I, um, is not safe. what I'm going to do is digitize the names yeah I know you gotta I turned it I turned the sound down so that the buzzing hopefully wouldn't be as loud so let me know if the buzzing is better. I'm showing that I have sound, so I don't, it could. So because I turned it so far down, when I get quiet, it may not pick up or something. I don't know. Okay, thank you. So what we're going to do now is, this is the, the girl's name. How could I zoom in? Where's my zoom? There we go. Here's her name, but that's not the right font and definitely not the right size. So I need it to be less than five inches wide. So we're going to go here and we're going to put five for now. But nine times out of 10, this is gonna end up smaller than five inches, all right? So Wilcom Hatch is super easy. They have built-in fonts. You just, if you use their built-in fonts, you just type, you know, the stuff for you and go from there. So I'm going to go down to script because that's the font that's on those bags. And all it is is um, brush script. I'm sure if you do embroidery, you know brush script. I mean, everybody and their grandma has used it at some point in time. All right. And this is it. So it dropped it down to 4.965. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down to 4.5 just to be on the safe side, and then I'm going to um, save this. So I'm gonna export her name, and then K I M A Y A, and then I'm going to put it in So What Pro now. All right, so here's Sew Up Pro. Here's the design. So let's go ahead and we're going to merge. And I'm going to merge in her name, which I just typed out and put on the D drive. Let's 
go to DST because I saved it as a DST and there it is so we're going to open it and here is I need the grid and here is the design just that easy peasy mac and cheesy um, now I have to be sure that this is not taller than six inches and we're at 4.71 high so I kind of like to stay in the you know five inch range with this because I don't want it to hit the edges of that mighty hoop so that's good I love where it is now I'm okay with this and so we're going to save it but first I'm going to let's see double check okay so now I'm going to save this, save as, and then I usually save it as her name, A-I-M-A-Y, and then that's, no, that's in the embroider before, I'm just going to put it in the main folder, alright, so that's hers, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, it's actually eight, go me. So I'm going to change this name to the next name. And the cool thing about Wilcom Hatch is it'll kind of leave, when you just change the letters, it'll kind of leave it as close to the same size, the same relative size. So I don't have to do too much more editing to this. It's still under five inches, so I'm good. So all I'm gonna do is export this one. Whoop not the cutting the actual name itself and name it her name and then save this do you always start sizing with the longest name in your order no I don't Karina I don't know why you don't have a sound um, but everybody you know, you may want to go out of your browser and come back in, or I'm going to try and turn it up just a smidge. And see, I just don't want the buzzing to be, you know, a pain in the butt. Turning the jack would help sometimes. Um, no, it's, it's doing it because I got the power going into it. So it's being a jerk right now because I have power um, plugged into it. And once I unplug it from the power, the electricity kind of not it kind of you know stops all the way up as well okay well I'll unplug it here in a minute um, well let's go ahead and unplug it it's, I just I really need to do something about this battery thing with um, Amazon they're just it's just I'm gonna have to contact the company with that all right, so at any rate, here is, all I did was just change the lettering and the size stays relative and will come hatch. And so now what we're going to do is take this name and bring it over and merge it in. And I leave um, the first name in when I bring in the second one because what I want to do is just make sure that you know it's about the same and it is so we're good and then I'll um, this one I'm gonna bring down a little bit closer because I'll show you here in a moment on this name I don't know how well you can see but if you look at where the diamond outline is, the Y is over here on the side. So I can bring the name down a little bit closer to the diamond. But with this name, the Y actually comes over the top of the diamond. So that's why I have it up a little bit higher. Um, but, you know, I can play around with this, which is the cool thing about, you know, designing this stuff myself. Four Corners, thank you very much for the super chats I don't know if anybody else did super chats yet because I was away from the chat for a minute but so thank you very much for corners Woo! sorry my energy level is just not high I'm so nauseated it doesn't make any kind of sense and if uni is in here no not pregnant so 
um but here is the next one so i'm going to go ahead and save this one and then i'm just going to replace the first name with the second name so that it doesn't overwrite the first one since i need to stitch both of these and that's that and so that's pretty much how i do these bags um when it comes to multiples of them so i just this is pretty much how it works um and like i said as long as my size stays relative to you know each other i'm okay so here's this one it's done i'm going to export it i'm going to put it in her name and then save it and then do the same thing come over here into sew it pro so what this allows me to do is type out the names um, with a already pre digitized built into wilcom hatch brush font now i can go get a brush font and use it in sew it pro and just do everything in sew it pro yes i can do that that is an option but um what that usually ends up doing is the brush fonts aren't always digitized the way i like them to or what what i already have what i'm already used to rather so i just choose to do the two separate do flashies programs um so let's grab carmen that's who it is and then I bring Carmen up and put Carmen in place. And she doesn't have a name that sticks down past. So I can bring her a lot closer. And then I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to save this. And change the name. And that's that. So this is... Um, this is how I do my bags. Okay, so let's go to the next name. And the next name is M-I-L-A-N-I. And I've learned to not even think about trying to pronounce these names because, I mean, this one is pretty easy, but sometimes the names just are like, whatever. M-I-L-A-N-I, so I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to merge and this is not right. So let's go here, here, and there she is. I'm gonna bring her up. And again, I keep the old name on there just for reference to make sure that the size is relative and that the size didn't change drastically so i change the name all right and the next one hers is super short and that's a good thing so let's export this one Alright, there's that name. And this one. And we'll export this one.
All right. Now, as soon as we're done with these, which I have two more names, then we can go ahead and get our first bag stitching. Um, and go from there. not going to be on very very long we're going to see how many we can get done while live because with today being friday we have craftable things going on at 7 p.m so it would be totally awesome to go over there and watch her um so that's what we'll do around seven i won't be on much longer i s z i guess that's Correct. And then we'll export the design. And I'm actually going to double check with my person to make sure that this is the right um, spelling of this name. But, you know, she did contact me and said she misspelled somebody's name, but she didn't say who. So. That's a bummer. All right. All righty. And that is it. That's all of the names that I need to do. There's eight names. I And so that's that for the bags. So now the other thing I need is to put this design onto the um, six needle machine and I kind of want to get the um, no no it's DTF custom Okay, so this one is the D drive. So where is the other drive? I may have to use that one because Seems like I moved the other one. All right. I'll worry about that here in a minute. So let us switch over to the embroidery. I made videos, but haven't posted any. Please do. That would be phenomenal. All right. So let's get us over to the embroidery cam and get these bags started because Lord knows they need to be stitching. Uh, so we go here and then we go here and then when it shows up we will get it going. So what's the first name? First name was 
with Kamaya. There she is. So she's in spot 52. There she is. Alrighty, and the name is Red. Let's see, the name is Red, and that is Red, and everything else is white. So, 13 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what's going to stitch first is white, so that's 13. That's white, so that's 13. That's why, so that's 13, and then something's not right for is red. So where am I missing? That's what's missing. Okay, so that's not, that's not going to be right. Some kind of way it messed up my file. Oh my gosh, at least they're all saved. So I'm going to go in here and change all of these files. Let's see, Let's start with you since you're right there. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. So why is that like that? It should not be. All right, so you guys get to see me cutting a file apart that I shouldn't have to because I don't know why it's acting up like this. So. Yeah, because the inside is red. All right. So we are going to use the cutting toolbar. I'm going to cut this part out from the stone, the diamond. So we're going to do this number right here. I'll go right up in there. And then cut pattern. And that's that. All right, so now this is separate from that and I can change this color. So we're going to make this one red or whatever. So hold my shift down, drag this up. So it'll do that, then it'll do that. Then it'll do the outline, bam, bam, and we're done. All right, so this one I'm going to save. And now I'm going to grab, that was ISDI, so let's grab IV. And I'm going to have to do that with all of these because for whatever reason, I didn't, well, I mean, I didn't catch it because it should not have changed, but it did. So cool thing is with Sewer Pro, it's super simple to do. It's not that big of a deal, usually. All right, and I'll close this out. So I'm going to make sure everything is cut like it's supposed to be. And it is. So we're going to make this red. Move it up. Nine. Place number one, place number two. And then save. And then journey. Let's grab you. Let's grab you. And I could go ahead and get one stitched um, and come back and do this later, but whatevs. Already doing it. So we're going to leave well enough alone. That's that kid. And now this one, actually let's close this out so it doesn't end up being too much. All right, and now Carmen, let's get you cut out. Thank you, Miss Parker. 
I appreciate that. All right, so that's that one. Let's close this out. Hit save. Carmen, yes. Yes, I want to replace it. And now the next one was Kamaya. Let's get you going. Kamaya, let's grab that first thing. Let's cut you. Cut pattern. Absolutely love Sew It Pro. It's very easy to use. Especially to do editing type things. It's not difficult at all. Alright, and save. Let's combine. Is that the last one? No, it's uh, one that starts with it. Oh no, there's two more. Three more. Yikes. Okay. Let's grab you. Let's grab you. Let's go ahead and cut this. I don't know why it merged. That kind of that bums bums me out a little bit. So I shouldn't have merged these. Cut pattern. Actually need to do another Sew It Pro class. It's been a while. Cut a pattern. Cut save all. Let's turn you red. Drag you up there. And we'll go save. The serenity. Now I know you probably you might be um wondering why these crazy colors because when it gets over on the 15 needle machine this is a dst file and with the dst file um it does not save colors dst is just your basic embroidery file so it won't save colors um so that being the case the colors are always i don't want to say random but i've never really paid attention to how um a dst file kind of makes its color pattern colors when it gets over to the machine but you always have to program it into the machine save as all right that's all of them so it should go on the machine like it's supposed to now um the the diamond part is going to stitch out white the interior of the word is supposed to stitch of the letters DRC is supposed to stitch red. Then the outline is white. The word diamonds is white and the kid's name is red is the way it's supposed to stitch over there. But I changed the DRC to a different color because it was showing the diamond and the inside the same color. And that's not right. That's not how it's supposed to stitch. So that's that. And now we're going to close this out and then now we can go over to the embroidery machine and get it going hey big boy how are you um i am switching to embroidery cam that's what i'm doing all right so let's get this over to the embroidery hey sam let's get this over to the embroidery machine Alrighty. Woo. Alright. So now, Lord, this should work like it's supposed to should. <clears throat> so there's the files. The first one we said was Kamaya. I'll put it on 58. Um, and for the time being, I'm just going to do that. 58. Alright, so that shows up. Now I gotta set the colors. 
so the first thing that's going to stitch is the diamond then like i said the interior which is one two three four and then everything else except for the last stitch is white so there's that i want to make sure it's full auto it's going to stitch it's centered and we just hit go now usually what i'm supposed to do is an outline check but when i do Uh, which is why I said that more than a certain amount of inches to make sure it doesn't hit this hoop. All right, so there is our duffel bag. And now we're going to, Lord, I'm flashing red again, y'all. I swear. Let's turn this down some again. And then I'm going to plug it up again. Sorry. I'm going to have to plug it up. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to lose some sound anyway. So what I'm going to do while that stitches, I'm going to switch us to dual view. Where you can see. Where I thought you could see the both cameras. Hold on. Of course not. Of course not. All right, so there's that one. Why is that not showing up? All right, so that's being a jerk. So we're just going to let that stitch. And we're going to come over here. Blinked out for a moment with static. Yeah, I'm... I'm trying to deal with the thing so what i'm going to do you guys is i'm going to let my mic charge okay you're not going to be able to hear anything so let the folks in the back that you know is out in the bushes and may may not catch this message let them know that i'm going to cut the mic off let it charge and what i'm going to do what you're going to see is over on the cutting table you see the um silhouette is there and some orange vinyl and whatnot I'm going to get the chef coats and I'm going to hoop the first chef coat. And after I hoop the first chef coat, that should give me enough time to let this darn microphone charge and then put it on the machine and stitch it out. Okay, so let me do that. Put this thing off so it can charge.
Alrighty, a bunch of noise incoming. So we have charged up the microphone a little bit with it turned off. So hopefully that charge will last longer, long enough um, to make it through the next hour, a little bit less than an hour. So we have the first chef coat up and going. I, I don't know if you were noticing while I was over at the table. I um, <clears throat> had started doing the embroidery on the right chest and that was not correct. It needed to be the left chest. So I had just finished jackets, putting names on jackets and we normally put names on the right chest so creature habit on that um but the duffel bag we're gonna go ahead and get another duffel bag duffel bag set up both of these stitch out pretty quickly so it won't be too much longer and it'll be time to put another one of both of these on the machine so we'll go ahead and get a another double going. Alrighty. And I need to be sure that I'm on the right, the wrong side. This is the right side. We so don't you know, stitch through the pockets. And again, with these double bags, I don't use stabilizer, so. This is ready for um, it is ready for when this bag is done. And now let's get our jacket, our next jacket stitched. Here is the next victim. There we go. So that's how the other one was supposed to open. I keep the bags because usually I refold and put them back in the bags the way they came out of the bags. Um, so that's how we do that. And on these, I like to line up the logo with the bottom of the button so that everybody is nice and uniform. Um, because the center of the design is going to go here and it's a pretty decent sized design so Alrighty, and we like 
to go. I'm gonna make the play kind of halfway. That's a little bit too far, I think. Hold on. Let me go over this. A smidge. Just a smidgey smidge. All right, and so here is my stabilizer. Can't see the chat, so I'll check the chat here in a moment. So my stabilizer is in place waiting on the first jacket to finish stitching. Oh, it looks amazing over here. It is healing pretty decent, Miss Tony. It's technically it's mainly healed up. Um there's some soreness, tenderness, not really pain um, when I hit it or bump it, rather not hit it, but when I bump it in certain places on the finger. Um, and then of course there's limited range of motion. I've been doing better with it. I've been like trying to force myself to squeeze and Sometimes I still catch myself doing stuff without it because I've gotten used to doing that. So I'm having to remind myself as I'm working, use the finger. So it just depends, but it's healing up really well. I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, but I appreciate y'all hanging out and working with me. It's a really cool. Happy Friday, Miss Crafty Creations. Thank you for asking about it, Tony. Thank you. Um, Kenya Drive Safely, welcome. Thank you for listening in. Lily Simple Creations, hey darling, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Lejean Designs, welcome. Shonda Smalls Willis, welcome. T Johnson, hey sugar. Taryn, hey sugar. Nicole Reeves, she's doubting having mushrooms on a steak. Hilarious. I said I need a bandage white so I can learn embroidery. I've had my machine for over four years and never used it. No worries, we're here. Just let us know. We're going to have some simple projects coming up um, that you can just tune in for really simple stuff. Anita Ware, good evening. Nicole Reeves, hello. Pamela Bradley White, hello, my dear. Miss JB, hello. Viola Creek, hello. So a pro class, we'll work on that, definitely. Vanessa G. Guys, where did the design come from, or is this one of this is one of my design files? Um, so I helped design this for them. They told me what they wanted, and I helped come up with somewhat of a design. And then um, we we've been running that one ever since. Hey, the educated natural. Hello, my dear. Welcome, Miss Parker. Let's see. Robin Cornish Spencer, hello. Welcome. Becky Chisholm from Tejas. We're supposed to be getting snow barely right about now. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't looked out there. I haven't. BTC Queen, hello. I mean, it's dark now anyway, so even if it is snowing, I'm not going to see it. This one, 43, hello, my dear. Marianne, hello, welcome. We're just hanging out. Just hanging out, just hanging out. Um, Phaser Wright, hello. Leslie Rim. Oh, and the microphone cut out earlier, Miss. Uh, Bic, I don't know if you heard me, but I did not. I've never been to Pop Shell, Pop Shelf, so I I don't know what that is. 
black doll Shelby. Beautiful. Been trying to find out how to swap colors on my six needle. When you pull the screen up that have the six colors that tell you what is going on and stitch out first, two, and so on. No class for COVID. Um, so black doll Shelby, if you are still in here, let me know and we'll go over that real quick because the machine is, is right there, it's up, so we can do that. Um, Miss Precious, thank you so much. I have been brilliant, so I already split the design. Okay, cool. Alrighty, y'all, the first bag is done, so let's go ahead and switch that over. So crafty says she's coming to Charlotte next month. Holla at your girl. Girl. Brenda says it's very, very cold. That's what my husband said. It's very, very cold. Hey, Kim Dalton. Hey, Motherland. Mom's crafting. Welcome. Borkira. Hey, Jeanette. How are you? How's Mello? <laughs> Give him a pet for me. Thank you, T. Johnson. I appreciate that. Thank you. I went yesterday and got fried. Marissa, welcome back. Bay of Newcomer. Hello. Kim Dalton. Yes. Donna Wilkie, what type of marking pens are being used? I've used a couple that leaves marks. Um, I use a couple of different options, honestly. I have several in my arsenal. A lot of it depends on the material that I'm using. Um, so what I tend to do is I will check first in a hidden area with whatever it is that I'm using and what I'm you know, going to be marking on. And I try to see if it comes off easily. If it does, then that's what I'll stick with. If it doesn't, then I know not to use that anymore. But I've been doing these bags for quite some time, so I kind of already knew what um, bag, what marker was going to work and what wasn't. So this particular um, bag, like I said, is sequins. So you can't use a magic marker and it's black you can't use a magic marker so you need something that's going to show up and chalk could work but because of the texture of the bag it just took so long to mark it on the um surface so one of my local fabric stores has you know these kind of like wax markers this is more like crayon to me um I don't know that for sure that that's what that is, but I know it's a fabric marking pen. So it's not ink, but at the same time, it, it leaves a visible mark. And all I have to do is just rub it and it comes right off. All right. So you kind of have to play around with the tools that are out there to see what, um, to see what is going to work. off on this Give me one sec so I can pay attention to what in the world I'm doing um, but you got to test test and hit keep different things like I have um, chalk markers I have regular markers air disappearing markers I also have water soluble water you know erase markers I have heat erase pins friction pins um you know i have a, a list of stuff that i use and go to um you know for marking things but definitely what you want to do is just try out the different things oh try out the different things and see what works unfortunately that's the best answer i can give you honestly because there's no one one thing solves all problems at this point in time you know because you're dealing with fabrics of different color fabrics of different textures um so not everything is going to mark easily you know the same rather whoops come on bro don't do me like that i was being rough so it was kind of my fault Thank you. All right. So hopefully that'll... Oh, crap. You know what? I meant to check my bobbin. Let me check my bobbin. Because there's nothing more aggravating than for this thing to run out while in the middle of one of these bags. Okay, I got plenty. All right. Let's put you back on. 
All right, so we did, who is this? Maya, so we need to go to the next name. And take that off, pull up to this, use the next name, Maya Serenity. So let's get her loaded. She's in 59, so let's go to 59. There's Serenity, and we need to make sure for colors. So our colors are wrong. So the first color is 13, then four, then 13, then 13, then four. And I'm gonna bump this over some, and we'll go. All right, and our chef coat is almost done as well. So on Kamaya, let me see if I can show you this. You're welcome, my dear. Cause see like here on Kamaya, um, so at this point, I'll just trim up these loose threads right here. Um, these stickly out threads, I'll pull them. But you can barely see that chalk line. If it's centered, if I have it centered properly, most of the line that I made is covered up with stitches and you'll barely see that center line, but I just use usually a, a washcloth and rub it and then that center line is gone. So, and that's that for this bag. This kid's bag is done and I can move to the next one. So let's go ahead and, well, that chef coat is about to come off and then we'll mark another, um, we'll mark another bag here in a moment all right so here is our chef coat done so we'll go back to the cutting table and hoop the one that I have waiting that I've already marked and I already have the stabilizer behind it okay and then we'll come back to the um, shelf coat and finish off the first one after we get this one on the machine. All right, so let's get this in place. Stabilizer is crooked in there. and help make sure that's way off. I have to pull stabilizer too, I think. Yep. Slide that down. Much better. Much better. Oh, I went crooked. Um, bruh. There we go. Alright, so now I can't remember the stupid thing. There we go. That's still a little crooked. Well, you ain't wanting to straighten out. There you go. Bruh. Ugh. Hey, damn it. I didn't want to have to tug on it. So this fabric, I'm tugging on it and shouldn't, but I am. But it's also not, um, this fabric is not stretchy at all. So you should be able to tuck on, tug on it and not get puckers. Our stabilizer is good, so we're going to throw this on the machine. Okay, I'm going to check it. Trying to fight me. Alright, and the exact same logo is going on this one, so we don't have to change anything like we have to do on the bags because the bags have different names. So with this, I just need to make sure that it's 
lined up with my marks and we can go. I should have checked my bobbin, but I didn't. But I can reach up in the middle of this jacket and check the bobbin, but I can't do that with the bag. So that's that. So now we got our, um, what's the face going? Uh, silhouette, I haven't um, touched it. Unfortunately, I have not touched it. All right, so here is the first chef coat we did. All right. And pretty much all I do, like I said before, is I'll get a washcloth or something, but because this is black, I try not to do something that has a lot of lint. Rub that chalk line right on off of there, just like so. And then, let me grab my, um, what's the face? Then what I'll do is trim the stabilizer from around the design. And you want to leave generally about a quarter of an inch sometimes more depending upon you know just how busy it is but you don't want to trim all the way up to it you know you just don't I, I, and that's based off of experts I've been read I've read in the past so I don't ever trim all the way up to it and you trim what I do to clean up the stitches that stick out is I'll take a lighter and just clean those up or you know if I don't feel like fooling with a lighter I'll get um I'll get uh my stitch eraser and just kind of buzz cut it's not necessary it's just something I like to do to clean up my stitches especially since this is going in a um, professional environment workers and such not that they're you know they're going to be the ones to see the back but the customers are not but it's just I don't know habit habit that I've gotten into alrighty and we're going to get rid of this chalk outline that we did not use because we're not putting names on it alrighty and then now I just a look at the fold lines and fold it back the way it was as close as possible it being folded back the way it was it should fit right back in that package just like it was all right unfortunately this one tore so but they don't care usually they'll just take them out I mean all if I'm not mistaken all of these are spoken for so it's not like she's gonna store these these are actually going to the different shifts in the restaurant so all righty boom all right so we're gonna tuck that right back in there nice and neat and we're done just like so so let's put this off to the side and what we're gonna do is grab another chef coat go ahead and mark it and then we'll grab a bag and mark it and then We'll move on to whatever comes off of the machine first. So, that. Oh, this one's different. Oh my God, this one is different. Okay. I don't know that she knew this one was different. It's got a pocket. 
So when there's a pocket, usually the logo goes over the top, but with, with this logo, it's a lot taller than your regular logo. So it would probably go over here. I'm going to email her about this one because I want to make sure because they, they usually like to keep everything exactly the same. So she must be doing two different kinds of jackets. She didn't tell me that. All right. So that means nine times out of ten, I'm going to end up having to put that logo over here. But I don't want to make that call. I'm going to let the customer make that decision. So, oh, let's see what else I got in here. Make sure. Okay, here's the regular one. She must have been grabbing these because this is what they had. bags mixed up because each bag has a label with the size and the style on it so we definitely don't want to mix those up all right so I'll get with her on that later okay This one has a pocket too. Monkey wrenches. All right, so. Let me email her. Oh my gosh. Folks love throwing monkey wrenches into my plans. She didn't tell me she had two different kinds of jackets, so. I think this is the regular one without a pocket. I mean, at the rate we go on the darn bag is going to be done and the jacket is going to be done and I'm not going to have anything marked. Okay, somebody is mad. Sounds like the red line. And I'm right. I'm coming. I'm coming, G-Girl. I'm coming. All right. <sighs> Curses. All right. Oh. I don't like this button. Does it look balanced? All right, so this one, oh, actually I need that over there. Let's get you some stabilizer. This is black cutaway stabilizer. Not absolutely necessary, but it does give a more Again, to the wearer, a more polished look on the inside. All right, why is, why are you over here pitching a fit? 
What are you fussing about now? Why do you keep shredding your thread? I know the sequins are a pain in the butt. Sequins bite this machine so bad it ain't even funny. No, I'm getting old, hard to see up under here. And I haven't, oh, that's what else I was supposed to be doing. I haven't ordered my glasses yet, so I'm gonna order my glasses. far along as I thought. Good, 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 good. All right. So, we marked the jacket. Now we're going to mark a, is that Madeira stabilizer? Probably. I'll look at the um, bag and see if it is. Thank you, Diane Day. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, Shannon, Margaret. I don't know what's different about other than I cleaned it up. Ah! Okay. So let me look at the, uh, well, let me grab a bag, actually. Now these kids' bags do come in a bag, but I'm not going to re-bag their, theirs because they're going to just take these and go to a uh, event. So it's not necessary to put these back. Um, sometimes I put them back if I'm just feeling fancy. But not feeling fancy today, so we're not going to put them back. All right. So let me check the bag on this stabilizer first while I'm standing here. And yes, it is Madeira. Stabilizer. So you were right. Let's get this thing stretched out and then put it on the edge of the ironing board. And let's mark it. Alrighty. So again, four and three quarters is where I prefer. It's roughly seven inches over, so three and a half. The midway point. Oops, that's crooked. That was crooked as all outdoors. Let's see. All right. And there we are. So this one is now ready. And as I've mentioned many times before, I don't use stabilizer for this. So we're good with that. I'm gonna put this coat up because it's done. Put it in the bottom of the box and now we wait on, let's see, looks like the book bag, I don't know, it looks like they may finish about the same time. Thank you, Marianne. I appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Miss Parker. It is a cool looking bag. expensive though stupid bag they are actually looking to change bags the next year so I don't know how much I'm looking forward to that um, 
Oh, thank you, Diane. They got, girl, I got these from CBS. <laughs> I sure did. That does not belong to me. I got these bedroom shoes from CBS, and they are comfortable, very, actually. Bickham, you got these slippers too. Shannon, that bag is $35. Pretty sure it's $35. Because when I was when I had to replace it, I was real sad. And this jacket, I don't know where um, my kids got this from, but they gave it to us for, gave it to me for our anniversary about six years ago or so. What do you mean red and white squares? I don't know what you mean. Prayers to you, girl. Hand beating is a whole fool. Hey, Andrea. Hey, El Nicole. Oh, no, baby. No, the red line 15 needle is not similar in price to a brother 10 needle by a long shot. The red line 15 needle is $8,000. That brother 10 needle is what, 15, 16, thousand? out y'all didn't tell me my red light was flashing and now our chef code is done i was reading chat and wasn't paying attention okay and munching at the same time I ain't gonna lie. i've been oh my stomach i was so nauseated earlier i could not eat um let's cut that sometimes these sequins make my thread shred and that's irritating but not always, but a lot of times it does. So I'm backing it up some where it was starting to shred. The stitching is a little thin looking, so I'm backing it up so that it'll restitch that part. Child is hair. In a way. Thank you. Appreciate it, fam. All right, let's go up there. Let's trim that again. That did not trim. I don't know what I just cut the air. Huh? Wait, wait. All right. Let that stitch again. And then let's take this off because this is now done. Looking absolutely gorge. Let's go over to the cutting table. Ooh, right there. And then we'll go ahead and get the thing hoop. Fifteen K. Ooh, chat. That's enough to make you fight somebody.
be sitting in the store. And how much is that, sir? $15,000. Man, put up your dudes. You telling me no 15 k You lost your time. All right. It's too high up. Make sure my stabilizer is behave <coughs> behaving. <coughs> so I get for taking a sneak bite of a burger. Wrong. That is just crooked. I think it was this way. I always get it backwards. And it's still crooked. Oh my gosh. That's a little bit better. Oh, not bad. Alright. Looking at it from the wrong angle. Okay. So, stabilizer feels great on the back. So, let's go ahead and put this on. The bag is now done. So, we got two projects coming up around about at the same time. Come on. There we go. Alright. And we're going to move this over a smidge. And then we're going to... Actually, actually, let me check my bobbin. No, oh, bobbin's good. Y'all, all right. of the machine. Stitch pretty. Alright. And let us go to the bag so we can hoop the bag. Is it? Okay, cool. Got a little bit longer, and then we'll go hang out with Patrice over at Craftable Things. Let's move that over. Where are you? Nope, too low. Because we'll have to squish that down further. Alrighty. A little too high. And ah, that's a plan trick for me. Perfect. Woohoo! All right. Now let's put this on. This is these bags are always a cluster cuss because of the stiff watch the bobbin thread run out I don't know why I'm not going to go ahead and change it alright go do the same child's name we don't want to do that okay so let's take serenity out and let's find uh, serenity Move it over a little bit. 
Oh, nope, 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 nope. Eh, shut up. Alright, so, forgot to change the colors. Ah, uh, the pain of DST and doing different names on stuff. You gotta change the colors every time. It's annoying, but stay lovely. Alright, so the first color is gonna be 13. Then we're doing 4, 13, 13, 4. Alright, so that is the bag. Linole, yes, yeah, I do have Linole thread. I use it every so often. Um, Shannon, Margaret, my, my kids gave this uh, wrap to me for a uh, anniversary present. I have no clue where they got it from. All right, y'all, so let's go to cutting table. Okay. So here's the bag. Grab another one. This bag is done. All righty. Now, this chef coat is done. Put this chalk off of here. Put fingerprint chalk fingerprints. flashing red again. Hopefully it'll last by the time it's time to get off here in a moment. There's that side. There's this side. And there's that jacket. A part of the done train. All right, now this one was this the medium. Yes, make sure. Yes, the extra large is on there now. Don't 
just like that, y'all. Just like that. Alright. So, at this point, it is skin o'clock. Watch this on the charger. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? Seven. Woohoo! Alright, y'all. I enjoyed stitching with y'all today. Even though my microphone was being a jerk. Total jerk at that. Um, so I'm going to keep working and I'm going to tune into Craftable Things over on her channel. Um, she's often in here, so if you've never tuned into Craftable Things, please do. I don't know what she's working on tonight, but she, um, we're getting her into embroidery. She also does um, the not silhouette what's the name of that she does cricket uh, but she also has the starcraft so she works with that from time to time and she also has the glowforge i couldn't think of the name of that for nothing she has a glowforge so definitely check her out glowforge is cool so i love watching the glowforge work so i'm gonna head over there you guys thanks for hanging out with me tonight uh, sorry for not really paying too much attention to the chat um, but I did enjoy um, stitching with you guys and having um, fun bag. I think the diamond is stitching. No, the diamond is stitching uh, white. Look back at that. What? Marianne, Marianne bag. I think it's diamond is stitching blue. No, it's stitching white. It's stitching white. So... Yeah, it's stitching the right colors, thank goodness. Because not like I haven't had it stitched the wrong colors before, so don't get it twisted. Um, what beanie? If you're talking to me, um, oh, you're talking about um, Patrice. I think she did do the beanie. The name of the channel is Practical Things. I'm going to link it in the chat. Hold on. And I used to, there, there is a way to um, link her from she's not quite on just yet but there is also a way to um put it where you could just click it at the end of the video i ain't figured out how to do that yet let me see if i can figure that out real quick. and it'll go over to her let's see nope i want to do that get it maybe it's in the edit. Ooh, you sound crazy over there, blessing. What is you got going on? Comes the rain, the loud rain, license, da 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 Uh-oh, I'm going to have to change my tags, y'all. Playlist. Nope, I don't see how to pour it yet. Let's see if it's in here. Redirect. There we go. Oh, nope, it ain't working. So, that's weird. Usually it, it, it says redirects allow you to keep viewers engaged across multiple events at a live stream or premiere for people to watch after yours ends and it won't let me add hers. That's bummer. Alrighty, well, I put it in the chat. I tried, y'all. I'll put it in the chat. Oh my gosh. Why are y'all spam people just, you just refuse to go away? Hey, Tina Clemens. All right, T. Johnson, I will check you out over yonder. Yes, ma'am, Miss Bickham. Thank you. Love you too. The designs are gorgeous. Thank you, Taryn. She's not on yet. Okay, cool. What's 